thoughts heading into the first game of the season, finally? Yep, finally. It's exciting. Uh, it's, uh, I mean, what a way to start. It's Penn State. Going to be a lot of a lot of fans. So uh, I'm just excited. It's my senior year. It's a great atmosphere to begin begin my senior year. So I'm just excited and ready to go. How do you prepare for that kind of atmosphere, you know, hundreds of thousands of fans? Um, I think it's just, uh, the other day I practiced, we had uh, like some, we had the spears out there with like fans and stuff. But I mean, I feel like there's not really a way to prepare. I mean, their coach can tell us, you know, just be ready for it. It's going to be loud and all that. But I mean, just stay in your zone, stay locked in. Don't let all the outside distractions, I mean, get to you. Because I mean, at the end of the day, it's football. It's 11 on 11. So. What, what do you see from those guys in the secondary? Um, I feel they're, I mean, they got some athletes, but I feel like, um, I mean, they're beatable. They, we, we've got enough uh, plays drawn up, and Coach B has done a great job uh, with the offensive scheme. And I just feel like uh, we can get after him if we, uh, we get enough time. And me, Cottrell, and all the other guys, we can make plays. Do you expect to see much single coverage? Um, yeah, I, for, I feel like um, at the beginning, we're, uh, we're going to see a lot of zone. But I, I, if we start getting after him, they'll uh, switch to man. There's some of your teammates you want to point out that you think line up really well against a team like Big Ten. Um, I'd say, shoot, just off the top of my head, uh, Cottrell, myself, uh, Noah Ellis, um, Devontae, uh, Christian in the secondary, uh, some of our backs, they're big, shifty backs, so I'd say we got a few guys. Do you feel like, you know, having spent time in the swamp, that kind of subsides the nervousness going into a place like this? Um, yeah, but I mean, in a sense, I feel like, I mean, I, lo I love all the fans, all that type of stuff. So, I mean, I'm just ready for it. I, it doesn't really phase me. But, I, I, yeah, I guess being in the swamp, I mean, gives me a little uh, edge, I guess you could say. What, what's it going to be like if you're going into the fourth quarter and you're within 10 points of those guys? I think, I mean, shoot, it's, it's up to us to take take it. I mean, if we, if that happens, I mean, I feel like that will give all everybody a lot of confidence. And then I feel like we could just – it's up to us at that point to finish the game. From what you've seen is the way these guys line up on defense compared to anybody you've seen. Um, I feel like uh, it's it's kind of the same from uh, I mean a lot of teams. It's I mean some zone, some man, and I, I feel like just however the game plays out, they'll stick with zone or just switch the man. So I mean, I feel uh, a lot of similarities with a lot of teams. Does Penn State remind you of any Big Sky team? Um, no, I wouldn't say so. I feel like just because. Uh, they're, I mean, they're known for, I'd say, like running the ball and uh, kind of a, not necessarily controlling the game, but I know they got, they run the ball. They got some, they got a tight end who's pretty well, who's good. They got a good receiver. And then on defense side, they're just big, big guys that try to get after you. So I wouldn't necessarily say so. Or play style wise. Um, yeah, I'd say on the offensive side of the ball, yeah, they the, with their skill players and then defensive, defensively, I'd say. Um, with uh, some of the teams, get the way they get after quarter, the way they get after the quarterback, yeah. From what I read about them, they've got a lights out linebacker and, and a pretty good rush. Uh huh. But yeah. How, how do you guys respond to that? Um, just come out and play our game. I mean, they're human too. We're, we all play football, so I mean, it's just come out and play football. I think on day, don't let the the media and all that distract you from what's really going on. How important might it be with how good their pass rush is to get open quickly? Um, um, I feel like that's when our uh, quick game is going to come in. Uh, if Mason's getting pressure, just get in and out of our breaks and get to where we need need to be quickly. You guys are going to be traveling uh, pretty far away in yeah. this game. I mean, what are your thoughts about that? Um, I mean, we shoot. We traveled to Florida last year, and I mean, it's nothing too uh, not too big of a deal. But I, I mean, I got family back there, so I'm excited to go back east. Who's that? Uh, actually, pretty much my whole family is from New York, so. I got uh, I'm pretty. My uncle's coming up there, and uh, I want to say my aunt. She was talking about it when I was back home, but I, I still got to talk to her about it. How exciting is that for you to have family going to be there? For the uh, it's going to be fun because I mean they haven't seen me. I don't think they've seen me play. She has been a long time, so it's going to be fun to play in front of them. It's one of the coaches, maybe Katrina or Sinko, if somebody who's played these kind of guys in this situation, have any? sort of anecdote or story they keep bringing up. Yeah, uh, Coach P, he, uh, when he was coaching at Illinois, he brought up that um, I think he was the first, he was the only Illinois team to beat him. I, I might be wrong, but somewhere around there, he was the only Illinois team to beat him. He's just saying, I mean, they're not like the old Penn State team. They're, they're beatable, so I mean, just come out and play hard.
they said that the, it doesn't really compare to SEC because the SEC is like trying to hate you. Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. Loving. Yeah. I think yeah, like down south, uh, uh, he was saying that. I mean, they they try to hate you and try to really get after you, but uh, back there in Penn State, it's not not as bad. From from what you've seen of them on on tape, do either of your quarterbacks have an advantage uh, in a game like this? Um, uh, I I mean, if I'd say I mean Mace, the way he can move and I mean get out the pocket, I say if pressure gets to him, he can, he's got the ability to get out of the pocket and try and make something happen. And uh, Colton, I mean, shoot, he he can do the same as well. I've seen him do it multiple times, so I feel like that's something that could we could benefit from. What can Jonte do against? Penn State secondary. Uh, John, I mean, Jonte, he's a good receiver. And, I mean, he, if he comes and just plays his game, does what he needs to do, he can get up and get his catches and make plays with the ball. Played against all. He played against Yeah, Auburn. exactly. He played against Auburn and all the, shoot, I want to say USC too. So, I mean, he's he's had his experience with big games. So, I mean, I, I'll know he, I know he, he'll come ready to play. You're, you're becoming a leader and a spokesman for this team. Is uh -huh. that a, a role that's still emerging? You got a pretty good handle. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm used to it by now. So, I mean, I like it. That's fine.